Hey everyone, it's your girl Jackie O, aka Little Pumpkin Pie 05. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to announce today that for the month of November, I'm going to be their beauty expert of the month. Yay! They're going to be featuring me, Little Pumpkin Pie 05, which is great because. Uh, we need to start putting more chocolate on the map, y'all. You know what I'm saying? For those of you guys that don't know what Wantable is, it's basically one of those monthly subscription services that we've all been hearing about. Okay, there's so many of them all that darling. Basically, you go on the website, you sign up, you fill out like a little beauty quiz. They ask you like a few questions about your style, um, you know, what type of makeup trends you prefer, basically. And this one is mainly solely based on makeup, which is kind of obviously that kind of coincides with what, with what we do here. So they um, wanted to collaborate with me and they sent me a box of goodies and they sent me a box. They were kind enough to send me a box of a bunch of goodies. Now this is not necessarily, this is a whole lot of stuff. This is not necessarily what you're gonna get in your November box, but um, they kind of just wanted to send me like an overall look and feel of everything, which initially I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. Um, I really, really do like monthly subscriptions. Or like, I like that idea of it, but since I guess I figure since there's so many of them, you gotta kind of tread lightly. Um, and there's pros and cons with it, as with anything. You know, um, there's gonna be some products that you love. There's gonna be some products that you might not care for. But I am definitely very, very pro subscription box. I think it's, um, I think it's an amazing way to like really expose yourself and get to new brand, get to know new brands that you otherwise probably wouldn't even pay attention to. It's actually kind of funny because when I first got the box. And I saw some of the stuff, I was like, okay, so it's pretty like indie, like up and coming. And then I saw that they had some whip hand cross in there. And I was like, oh damn, what y'all know? What y'all know about whip? What y'all know about whip hand cosmetics? They put some of their blushes in there, and I'm really, really excited to try these because I've tried some of this stuff before. Definitely, definitely a huge fan of this stuff. So this is gonna be really, really interesting. This is gonna be my new little product. They sent me a bunch of really cool stuff that you are definitely going to be seeing me using future tutorials. So I, I want to share them, but I don't want to share too much because they're because I don't want to give I don't want to give away too much. So here's this eyeshadow base. It's from Lee's Watier. This one is a new one for me. Of course, I already dug in and went all the way in and swatched it. It's beautiful. Um, very, very soft. You're going to be seeing this one in a future tutorial. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but you'll see it. This is the Beauty For Real lip gloss. It goes on like a lipstick, and I'm actually wearing it now. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It reminds me a lot of Faux from MAC, so I probably will be wearing this like every day now because it's really pretty. It goes on really satiny, and it's not too like cakey or creamy. Speaking of Lise Watier, she has glitter. This one is, it's a shadow duo glitter thingy. Um, wasn't all that impressed with the eyeshadow because it's like creamy, I don't know, maybe a lip gloss? I have no clue, not interested. What caught my attention was the glitter. Y'all know I'm a glitter freak and I don't have anything that's fuchsia things like that, so it's pretty cool. Tons of nail polishes. I really like this lavender, not really a fan of red, but that's just what I got too. And I thought this was pretty. It's like a chunky um, glittery nail polish and it's like a dark navy blue. It's got silver chunks in it. So yeah, that's basically just a, a small, a very, very small fraction of some of the stuff that I got. Tons, I noticed with the box there's tons of lip stuff and there seems to be tons of nail stuff. So if you're really into like lip and nail stuff, like me, then you're probably really gonna love it. Also something to keep in mind, the things that you saw here that I was showing you, you may or may not get in your box because it's really, it's really personalized and catered to what your style is. So the things that you'll get will really vary on just like you filling out the quiz and putting in like what interests you, what you think is cute, and what just really catches your eye and they kind of like cater it towards that. It definitely gives you an opportunity to try new things. And I'm very like, oh, I love it when I'm like wearing something and someone's like, ooh, where'd you get that from? And I'm like, it's, I know it's from Sweden and like it gets people excited it gets people excited to try I just like the whole exclusivity of it and I like the fact that these brands are like indie and they're kind of maybe not very big here in the US but worldwide like I know Lee Swatier is supposed to be like really well known um, and Face Talk Home they also work with Face Talk Home never heard of them but apparently they're like a really big brand somewhere like Sweden you know what I'm saying so we're gonna get to know Wonderful and we're gonna be using these products in the future. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's definitely worth a shot. You know, if you've never tried a subscription box, YOLO, you only live once, I'm gonna put a link to Wantable and where you can find my little boutique down below. I'm just really excited to be partnering with them and it's really an honor, just the fact that they contacted me to begin with. I hope that you guys really enjoy what they've got going on. Let me know if you've ever tried Wantable. What do you think? What are your pros and cons? Happy shopping. I'll see y'all later. Bye.